Well, good day there. This is Joe Van Cleve, and welcome to typing assignment number nine. I hope you guys have been having fun with these typing assignments. I know they are a challenge. I know that we are challenged by time, uh, the constraints of our busy lives, and trying to work in the creative energy it takes to uh, to sit down and write something, and of course to type it and to scan it or photograph it and get it uploaded and et cetera, et cetera. But I really appreciate your participation. I hope this has been a growing experience for you guys. It certainly has been for me. So in the last few typing assignments, I've learned to rely upon my wife uh, in terms of ideas for future assignments because she seems to be quite astute at coming up with good ideas. And uh, this week's a new assignment is no different. I asked her, what do you think? And she sat for a while, a few minutes, and thought about it. And she told me a story. So uh, there is an older grocery store in our neighborhood that we call Creepy Albertsons only because it's an old store and the newer Albertsons up the street is nicer. But some of the people that work at the Creepy Albertsons are kind of funny. There's one guy in particular named Malcolm who we call Blind Malcolm. And Malcolm is a checkout clerk. And when you give him your ID or whatever, he puts it literally up to his face about this close to read it. So he's an interesting character. The world is full of interesting characters, and we like to write about them. Um, another a person that my wife has made note of is an Asian lady. We think she's Vietnamese, and she has a little boy and girl, and she will walk them to school. In the last six years, my wife has watched her walk her children to school, and her boy got old enough that he started walking ahead of them, as teenage boys do, and then he's going to a different school now, but the lady still walks her daughter, and now the daughter is walking on the other side of the street, not wanting to be seen with mom. So what do these two people have to do with our typing assignment this week? Well, it's involving writing a hypothetical story in the life of a stranger that you periodically see. Okay, Write a hypothetical story in the life of a stranger that you see periodically. And it could be the grocery store clerk. It could be the lady that walks her kids to school. It could be a number of people that you kind of wonder about. You go, wow, I wonder what their story is. I sure wish I knew what their background was. I bet they have an interesting story. Well, you may not actually ever know what their real story is, but you have an opportunity right now to write what you think their story could be. Okay, as is the case of all of our previous typing assignments, you need to type a one-page piece on the topic in question for this week, photograph or scan it legibly, Post that image to a publicly accessible image photo po hosting website, and then uh, post a link to that image in the comments section below on YouTube here, or post a link to the comment section of the corresponding blog article that I will have up in the next couple days, or the alternative, the third alternative is to uh, email me the link the image itself and any one of those three methods and I will get it on the slideshow of the results from this typing assignment number nine. And typing assignment number nine will be due on September 24th, Sunday, September 24th. Try to get your piece in by then. I usually start the edit on Monday morning, so anytime Sunday should be fine. Okay, guys, I hope you have fun with this. Put your thinking caps on, get your typewriters all set, get the fresh ribbon put in it, clean those type slugs, choose some nice paper, and get creating. I look forward to seeing your results. And until then, you have yourselves a great day.